This morning, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity was announced to release for the Nintendo Switch on November 20th, 2020. Now, I've never done an analysis video on this channel for a game that hasn't even been released yet, but the thing prompting me to make this short video today is that I can't believe how perfect a Warriors-style game is for the telling of this specific story. Previous Warrior crossover games, even the original Hyrule Warriors, were fun nostalgia trips that allowed you to get your favorite characters together, who normally wouldn't interact, and to beat the pulp out of thousands of enemies. They aren't canon, their stories often aren't that deep, and they don't add much to the lore in these series. Then you have Breath of the Wild. The way this game was handled, most of the story was held in optional cutscenes, and even if you collected them all, you knew enough about Zelda and the champions to care for them, but you also wanted to know more. It was obvious why they didn't explore more of that in the original game, however. A normal-style Zelda would be unfit to tell the tale of this big war, especially one that was lost. However, by design, a warrior-style game fits perfectly. This was an overwhelming war that led to the brutal defeat of Hyrule. Thus, thousands of enemies and focusing more on a hack-and-slash-style gameplay fits perfectly in line with how the battle would have been played out. The warrior-style gameplay also allows the player to see points of view outside of Link's as we get to control characters such as Zelda and all of the champions. Seeing these characters get to take on waves of enemies also shows what formidable allies they were, as in Breath of the Wild we mostly saw them in conversations and not doing much any actual fighting. It also makes their inevitable demise and their divine beasts that much more powerful, as we know that the Blight Ganons had to have been incredibly strong to take down the champions after all we've seen them do in this upcoming game. This game does not only play to Zelda's strengths, but will also help strengthen the poignant and directed narrative the Warrior spin-off games often lack. While I loved the original Hyrule Warriors, narratively I have to admit it was a bit all over the place, and it really served the purpose of getting as many fun characters together to smash some skulls in. However, Age of Calamity already has the perfect setup to create a more cohesive and emotionally deep story, which will allow the game to dig deeper into the emotions of individual characters and also raise the stakes as we know these seemingly godlike fighters can fall. Finally, creating this game also asks players to be more active participants in this war, rather than going the other route and having all of this war explained in more cutscenes or another form of passive media. This will continue to form the bonds players have already had towards these characters. We will have to wait until November to see how Age of Calamity will deliver, but just looking in concept, I don't believe I've ever seen a crossover use two series so intentionally in order to tell a story the best way it can be told. I'm incredibly excited to play this game when it comes out, and I hope future game crossovers might take a look at this dynamic as well. This has been The Girl with the Controller, and I hope you have a lovely day.